One of the wonderful things about the mock frame design is the narrowness of the body cowl, and that allows you to place side plates on so that you can have your mass dampers towards the front wheels, as you see here. Now, on a larger cowl design, you don't get that luxury. On a larger cowl design, such as the Razorback, you're limited in how you can address this situation until now. I'm going to show you how I changed my original design, my original Razorback design, where it had that little side mass damper, the slimline side mass damper that you see here, to what you see here. Now, the side mass dampers are more towards the front wheel, as they should be. This is Ganesha, so named because of the little elephant that's inside the car. So technically, this is an animal racer. One of the things that I love about this is this is an FMA chassis. So it's a front-mounted engine, and so most of the weight distribution is towards the front. One of the things I don't like about Ganesha is the fact that the body cowl is so large that I'm not able to fit anything more than a very slim side mass damper on the side. So we're going to change that. We're going to adjust our thinking, and lo and behold, we can do exactly what we wanted to do. A side mass damper that's more towards the wheel itself rather than being in the mid-wheel section right here. So really, you want your side mass dampers, the weights, to be more towards the front rather than the midsection. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. So let's turn it over and take a look at what I did. I basically have two of these side plates right here, and I connected them together like so. So two carbon side plates connected just like so. This one has a longer screw than this one. This one has a screw that goes in into it as a short screw. And here on the end is where the mass damper will be. So take a look at this side here. You see I have the screw protruding here. I can use a shorter screw. I can cover it up with a rubber piping. I've got a lock nut right there. And I've got a longer screw right here. We don't have to worry too much about covering this because it'll never touch human hands. It's right underneath the cowl. So there we go. It's just long enough to basically protrude a little bit underneath here. And if we really wanted to, we could probably pipe it. So here, here's the pancake weights right on top of this lock nut. And yeah, it's relatively medium size, medium height screw. And so yeah, now we have the weight more towards the wheel, which was what the goal was to begin with. And here it is, both sides. And if we take a look at how it fits inside our dimension checker, it's pretty well. Pretty cool. So yes, everybody, you too can get side mass dampers just like this by following the instructions in this video. If you like this video, please slam the like button, subscribe to my channel. You'll see more videos just like this one. Until next time, everybody, see you. Bye.